Creole Parametric 11 now has full multi-body support for sheet metal. A part model can contain multiple sheet metal bodies, and that has some repercussions on how flat patterns work. Let's take a look at that. Here I have a part model. I have about a dozen different sheet metal bodies in this part. And you'll notice that the main housing has a blue star next to its symbol in the bodies folder in the model tree. That means it is my default body. First, let's take a look at the flat pattern preview. I can click on the flat pattern preview, and even though I have multiple different bodies in this part, it is going to show me the flat pattern preview of the default body, and it tells me the name of that default body at the top of the window. Let me make this dialog box a little bit bigger so that you can see it. All right, let's say I want to see a flat pattern preview of a different body. Well, you can click on a surface of a body and then from the mini toolbar, here we have the flat pattern preview command. So I will click on that and there you see that preview. Let's take a look at a, another one. You can select a body from the model tree. And here we have in the mini toolbar, the flat pattern preview command as well. Let's go to that one. So that's how you can get to your flat pattern previews. Let me close this window over here. And if we go to the flat pattern command, we now have a drop down where you can choose between the traditional flat pattern command and something you called the flat pattern manager. First, let's take a look at the flat pattern command that you are used to. I will click on that and it is showing me a preview of the flat pattern of my default body. Like before, you can hit the check mark in order to create that flat pattern in the model. And that's the only body that is currently flattened. And we've got our bend notes displayed. If I expand the feature in the model tree, there you can see all the different bend notes associated with this flat pattern. But let me turn off that display by going to my annotation display filters. I'm going to turn off the display of those bend notes. Okay, so that is the traditional flat pattern like you had before, but we also have a flat pattern manager, which will allow you to manage the flat patterns of all the different bodies in your part. Let's go to the drop down and I will choose the flat pattern manager command. And when I do that, we now have a folder in the model tree of all the different flat patterns of the bodies. And you'll notice that the previous flat pattern feature went away because we now have all those different flat patterns managed here for the different bodies. And right now it still has that main housing showing up in a flattened state. Let me right click on it and I'm going to use the flat pattern state command in order to change how it is displayed. So we can change it from flat back to initial, and it'll take it back into its as designed state. And there is a special icon depending on what you set for each of the different bodies. For example, let me go to one of the other ones in here. Let's go to the connector panel and I will right click on it. And here we have flat pattern state and I will choose flat for this one and it flattens it out. Let's go to another one over here and we can right click flat pattern state and hey, we can choose for that one that we want that one to be flattened as well. And that way you can choose one by one to flatten all of the different ones. If you want to change the state of multiple different bodies at the same time, you can use the control key or the shift key for a multi-select and then flat pattern state. And I will choose flat from in here. And now it flattens all those different components. And again, they all have the same icon in the flat pattern manager now. There are a few other different choices that we have in here. So for example, let's say that I have the three different clips. I can select those and then right mouse click and hold flat pattern state. I'm going to change that to removed. 
that's going to remove those different bodies from the flat pattern uh, or from the flat patterns and also they are no longer visible on the screen as a result of that. There is another choice that we have called inherited. And with inherited, for example, this one over here, I'll right mouse click and hold, flat pattern state inherited. That means that it's going to take its value from what you set the top node of the folder to. So example, flat pattern state here. Hey, let's set this one over here to flat. And so it's going to end up flattening that inherited one. And again, it's got a little symbol. It's got a little arrow in there saying that, hey, this is inherited. So you, what you could also do is set all of these to inherited, right mouse, click and hold, flat pattern state inherited. And that way, with one mouse click, you can control the flat patterns for all the different bodies. For example, let's go back to initial. And let's go back to, in this case here, hey, let's choose removed. We're going to take out all the different bodies from here. There's a little minus sign on the icon. And let's go back to, uh, in this case here, you can choose to delete the flat pattern manager. And then we can go back and bring back the flat pattern manager so that we have all of them in there. And then let me select all of these, right mouse click, flat pattern state, inherited. And that way I can just use that one mouse click in order to control the flat pattern state of all of them. Let's go to flat. All right, let's take a look at one of these. So for example, with my main housing, I'm going to expand this in here. We have all our different bend notes, but you also get your flat pattern blank dimensions. In other words, what size metal you would use for cutting this. Let me go to my annotation display filters. And I'm going to turn on the display of the bounding box dimensions. So that way you automatically have annotations visible on the screen for each of your bodies, indicating what you would need to start with in order to bend each one of these pieces. One last thing that I forgot to show you, each one of these flat pattern features has parameters associated with them. Let's go to the flat pattern for the main housing. We'll right click on the feature and then choose parameters. Here is the parameters dialog box. I'm going to make this a little bit wider and let's grab that name column. So each one of these features has three different parameters associated with them automatically. We have the flat pattern width, the flat pattern length, and a new parameter, the sheet metal flat pattern state. In this case here, it is inherited. And these different parameters can be used in conjunction with family tables in order to control your different flat pattern instances. And I'll cover that more in another video. So there you have it. Those are some of the enhancements that you have in Creo 11 with regard to sheet metals and flat patterns.